there are signs of corrosion right here. And this is what happens when I turn the water on. Turn off the breaker so there's no power going to the disposal. If you have a dishwasher, first you disconnect the upper hose. Then undo the plumbing that goes into the side of the disposal. This is the tool you use to put into the loop of the flange and then you twist to loosen it. Put one hand under the disposal because the weight will come down when you're twisting. Click off the plate on the bottom to disconnect the electrical connections. Unscrew the two wire nuts and undo the green screw which is the ground. Sometimes there is a small bracket holding the wire so undo those two screws and then you should be able to pull the wire out of the bottom. This rust mark shows where it was corroding causing it to leak. Loosen all three mounting screws. Using a flathead screwdriver, pry off the snap ring. Now the flange will come off of the bottom of the sink. And you can lift the top part out too. Clean the area really well because there will be traces of plumber's putty all around. Don't forget to clean off the plumber's putty on the bottom side as well. Apply plumber's putty to the top portion of the flange so that it will not leak. Now press it down firmly into the hole and put some weight on top of it to hold it in place. I also suggest applying plumber's putty on the bottom side too. Now insert the fiber gasket, the backup flange, and then the mounting ring. Now install the snap ring by pulling it apart and snapping it into place. Now tighten the three mounting screws. Clean off the extra plumber's putty on the top side. If you have a dishwasher, you need to pop this plastic piece out with a hammer and a screwdriver. This is what the piece looks like. Loosen the bottom plate so that you can make the electrical connections. This is what it should look like after you route the wires. Connect the black to the black, the white to the white, and also to the green ground screw. Now you can mount your new disposal to the bottom of the sink. Use the same tool as before to tighten everything. Don't forget to put the rubber gasket in here as you are connecting the plumbing into the side again. again. Reconnect the plumbing how it was before and tighten everything down so that it won't leak. Reconnect your dishwasher connection if you have one. Run the water to make sure that nothing is leaking underneath. This Badger 5 that I had is the one that started leaking. This Badger 500 is the new one I bought because it's compatible with the other one. one. Turn the breaker back on and test the disposal to see if anything is leaking. I hope this helped. Good luck and thanks for watching.